Hi friends, this is Matha from CatCam tutorial. Today we are going to sketch a engine ma exhaust manifold. So let's start. Uh, click on the right frame and choose sketch. Uh, select corner rectangle and draw a rectangle. Okay. Just click on the rectangle, select rectangle and press shift and select center point and make it coincident. It's okay. Now give it to dimension, choose dimension and from center to end of rectangle keep 146.05 mm and vertical dimension keep 63.5 mm and the whole length of the rectangle keep 387.35 mm. and uh, we will draw a, again a, a small rectangle choose center rectangle tool draw a rectangle now uh, again choose one center line for construction from this center to rectangle center unselect click on that and make it horizontal now this center now give it to uh, give the dimension to hole rectangle hole 31.75 mm vertical dimension keep 38.1 mm and from one end to end of main rectangle keep 27.31 mm okay now we want a small radius in all corners of rectangle just select sketch fillet 6.35 mm radius and click all corners yes yes now select this rectangle click on the linear sketch pattern and we want three patterns so just keep three numbers and keep distance 146.05 mm see this is our three patterns click ok now our fat patterns are ready now we will insert a one ellipse go to the main tool and select ellipse and draw a one ellipse just below the center line okay this is our relief now give the dimension keep vertical dimension 114.68 mm center distance keep 47.61 mm and a distance from center of ellipse to end of rectangle keep 35.68 m okay now now we will make this all points in vertical position select center point then ellipse point and another ellipse point keep in vertical position okay now select the ellipse go to linear sketch pattern and give dimension 146.05 mm we need two numbers of ellipse so ok now select trim tool and trim outside parts ok so now our sketch is ready ok exit the sketch Now choose right plane, sketch and double click on normal, 1, 2. So this arrow should become the another this side. Now we will draw a circle. Just keep one, uh, draw a one circle parallel to the center. Give the dimension 38 mm. 
and the distance between the circle and the main center line 63.5 mm and both should be vertical select center point and center of the hole by shift and make horizontal okay exit the sketch now this is our plane now select right plane and go to the reference geometry and click on the plane now we will sketch two planes here so keep dimension 146.05 mm and keep two numbers you want two planes click ok now choose plane 1 select plane and click on sketch and go click on normal 2 now this is our uh, sketch now we will draw a one circle again here click on choose circle take this uh, center as a reference draw our circle give dimension 50.8 mm okay this is our sketch exit to the sketch now same as select plane 2 click on sketch and click on normal 2 now again we want to draw a one more circle select circle take this reference and draw a one circle give dimension 57.15 mm ok this is our third circle exit the sketch Now hide this both the planes. So click on plane and click on hide. Plane to click on hide. Now we already hide this plane. Now we will start to create our objects. First we will create this side of end of pipe. So click on boundary, boss or base. Now select this close rectangle. Now here it, will, it is asking either open loop or closed loop, we will click on closed loop and again select this rectangle and click ok. Now a small window pop up here, just click on window and select normal to profile. Ok. Now same as select this circle which we drawn in right plane. Now a window pop up, click normal to plane and uh, distance keep 1.1 mm click ok see or uh, picture is appear here now again select boundary base click on the boundary 1 a window appear go to window and choose tangency to face ok now we will choose choose one by one select another one now select third one and keep normal to profile this is our uh, picture okay during tangency align with uh, others ok select ok now see our uh, what is our exhaust pipe already created is still some work or balance so let's go for next work open boundary 1 and click on sketch 1 and show the same as here click sketch 3 and click on show now our layout is here now we will create our second pipe exhaust pipe click on boundary same same as here this closed loop select closed loop then again select yes and it is asking to select normal to profile 
then second select this circle now this is created select normal to profile keep it down side is looking better click okay now it's looking quite uh, now choose this option is better option okay this is perfect now select another boundary click on the close loop close loop again select okay make it normal to profile then select boundary 2 and uh, keep it normal to profile and keep the degree to 2 degree and the distance keep 2 mm so it will be matched to our requirement okay now this is matching our profile now click on the boundary to face select sketch and click on convert entities so this circle is converted now we will extrude this circle extrude both and keep the length 137.16 mm ok now our uh, profile is extruded now select this layer and click on extruded boss so it is asking extrude up and down we will keep it up and only 10 mm and uncheck the merge result and go back and select this sector counter and again select we and remove this counter one so we will select it without this cutout click ok now hide this uh, our uh, sketch line now this all sketch lines are uh, hided this is our uh, exhaust manifold almost ready now let's insert shell just click, click on shell keep 3mm thickness and keep uh, select shell outwards select phase 1 and 2 3 4 click ok now our shell is already hollow and it's almost ready still some more balance now let's combine it so in, go to insert features and combine it now there are two parts we both we have to combine collect first one and second one click ok now our both the parts combined now let's add some fillets first give 7.5 mm bottom of the pipe ok now another fillet 12.5 mm we will give to this pipe ok now another fillet 3.5 mm and give this base ok and now in all corners we will give some chamfer keep 
click ok so our engine exhaust manifold ready just save it save as a part 1 in one engine we need two left and right two exhaust manifold so now we will select we will just mirror it and select another one so just click on the body go to view insert and mirror click on mirror part now it is asking just uh, insert part click ok this is our uh, new parts created parts just change the plane white hide all the planes this is our second part save it as a part 2 ok now we have two parts now we done it our part engine exhaust manifold so let's see the view and thank you for watching our tutorial this is the part of engine engine now uh, we will do another uh, video in our next session please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you very much